Hi, this is Simon Obstel and welcome to this short video about Apple Motion. Now, when Apple first designed Motion, they made an unusual decision to part company with the technical terms used throughout the industry for a lot of very basic functions. And if you're coming from somewhere like After Effects and you're looking at Motion, you're probably wondering where a lot of the tools have disappeared to, or whether they even exist at all. And one of those is probably Turbulent Displace if you're coming from After Effects. Now, Displace is a very simple function which involves using the luminance values of one image, or the channel values of one image, same, same difference really, to displace the pixel positions of another image. So, super simple idea. And this doesn't actually appear to exist as a motion filter. What there is, is a distortion underwater, which is a sort of turbulent displace, but you don't really have much control over it. And it's more of a kind of undulating displacement than what one would expect. Now, as I say, what Apple did when they made motion is they used their own bizarre names for things that are really fairly basic. And their name for displace is a filter called bump map. Let's load that in. It's not actually really anything much to do with bump maps at all, but they didn't want to use the word displace for reasons best known to themselves. But actually, if we use bump map, we can very easily create a turbulent displace because all the turbulent displace is, is a displacement filter that's being driven by a fractal noise of one kind or another. And motion comes with its own fractal noise generators of various kinds. The most obvious is clouds. So let's bring in clouds. Let's just turn that off. Let's come over and let's add clouds to the bump map, so-called. And you'll see that we get a turbulent displace that is being driven by that clouds. Just a quick note to say here that Motion uses a displace that only operates in one direction at once, unlike After Effects, which has a bi-directional displace. And I discuss how to get around that in a tutorial for Motion that is exclusive to my Patreon subscribers. But anyway, enough of that. Another option is a cellular, which I quite like. Let's use that. Uh, let's drag that into the bump map. And uh, you'll see we get a different kind of displace. Obviously, the cellular has lots of its own controls and we can change the size and so on. Obviously, the bump map, you can change the amount of displacement that's taking place. It's most certainly not a bump map in my view. It's, it's, it's quite clearly just a displace. A filter. A couple more we could look at. Uh, there's uh, so we've looked at clouds and cellular. There's also caustics, which will work pretty well. So let's use caustics and drag that in there. And you can see we get a different kind of displacement. And one per perhaps you might not immediately think of is membrane. So let's bring that in. Let's try that. There you go. It actually creates some really interesting effects, kind of glass like. And, and talking of glass, there are, of course, displace filters besides bump map. So in actual fact, glass distortion is just a different kind of displace. So if, for example, we were to add the clouds to that, it doesn't have such a dramatic effect, but it is still a displacement. And we can do the same with the others. And in fact, there's another option as well. We can use refraction, which also requires a map. So let's use the clouds as the map for that. And you can see that that's creating its own form of displacement. So motion very definitely has a turbulent displace. It's just one that you need to build out of two different tools rather than it coming as one tool. So anyway, hope that's been interesting. Thanks for watching.